Hello everyone and welcome to Rules Kitchen. Christophe Rull here, a professional chef and a cast member of the famous baking show Bake Squad. All the way from south of France to now California, this YouTube channel was created for all of you around the world with one main goal in mind, is to share one recipe at a time and to create joy on your dining table. And if you follow Rules Kitchen, there is no reason to fail. So today, we are going to make a beautiful lemon pancake filled with a zesty, Meyer lemon curd, my favorite citrus of the whole time, grow in California and hand-picked this morning at the farmer's market. And some of them grow naturally on my garden. Are you ready? Put your apron on and let's get started. So we have our eggs, our sugar, creme fraiche, flour, baking powder, salt, Meyer lemon and our butter. The first things we're going to do is to take our uh, butter and put it in a microwave to melt it. Then we want to mix our eggs with our sugar in medium speed. So for this recipe, you only want to mix the eggs and the sugar just a little bit. You don't have to go to the ribbon stage. We only want to combine all ingredients together. Then we want to add the creme fraiche. and mix again in medium speed. During this time, we want to combine the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. And then we can add our flour, baking powder, and salt into our mixture of egg, sugar, and creme fraiche. Then we mix everything to combine all the ingredients together. Don't forget to scrape the bowl to make sure all the flour is well combined. Otherwise, you're going to have lumps and that's not what you want, right? Okay. And then the melted butter. And then mix, mix, mix. So now we want to um, zest the lemon and we're only going to put the zest, not the juice. We will keep the lemon for the juice for the syrup coming next. And then mix, mix, mix. And now my mix is ready. I'm going to turn on my oven at 350 Fahrenheit and start to pour our mix inside our mold. So I'm going to prepare my uh, mold. Um, and if you're wondering what kind of mold I'm using, I'm using this uh, little baby pancake mold. You can find it in the description below. And I have my uh, melted butter over here. I just want to take some precaution. I'm pretty sure I don't need to, but just in case I want that pancake to get out of the mold. So I am pulling a little bit of butter. Voila, that's it. And then I'm going to pour my mix inside my pan. So this recipe will give you two loaves. So I am not sure if you ever experience uh, the pancake cracking uh, on the side or uh, not evenly uh, most of the time. And I'm going to give you a little trick in order to have a nice and clean cut right in the center. And in order to get to that result, I'm going to use a piece of paper and I'm going to show you first how to make a paper cone. So the first things is you have to have straight edges. So now let's cut the paper really flat and then you want a perfect square okay so once you have your square you want to fold it
in half, so you obtain two triangles. And your knife needs to be really sharp to make sure you have really sharp edges when you cut it. And now you have two triangles. Today, I am only going to use one. So check this out. So the way that I am going to do the cone is I have um, a 90 degree angle on the right side. I am going to hold with my two finger over here. And then I am going to fold this like this. Over here needs to be pointy. Then I'm going to hold the cone on the bottom this way. And then I will Fold it this way and then I want to be really tight on the bottom and here align this to the middle of my cone. Then I will fold it and I have my paper cone. So my mold already, I have my paper cone and my buller. I want to bring the buller about uh, soft consistency so I can fill my cone with the buller. So I'm going to put this in a microwave for about 15 seconds. So you really want to have the buller uh, soft uh, and not liquid. So this is, uh, this is pretty much my soft buller that I'm putting on my cone. Voilà. Then I'm going to close my um, paper cone. This way. Then I want to cut the tip of my cone. And then I'm going to press and draw a straight line of buller right in the middle of my pancake. So what's going to happen is when I'm going to put my pancake inside the oven, the pancake is going to raise, but the butter is going to melt. And wherever the butter will melt, that's where you're going to have the opening of your pancake. And you're going to have a straight line right in the middle. Does it make sense? Let's put them in the oven. And let's set a timer for 40 minutes. All right, let's check out our pancake. Oh, yes. Look at this. So here we are. We have our beautiful pancake. It's a little bit hot. And let's see if our non-sticky pen did the job. Oh, yes! Look at this beautiful, cute, mini pancake. And let's mold the other one. Beautiful, beautiful, and so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on the side and we are going to make our lemon syrup. So now that our pancake are cooling down, we are going to do or lemon syrup, super easy. Water, sugar, and Meyer lemon zest. So we want to combine water and sugar together. Water, sugar. Then bring everything to a boil. And once everything is boiling, we want to add one whole lemon zested. Mix, mix, mix. Mm. 
So I'm going to do something a little bit uncommon. I'm going to cut the pound cake a little bit in a V shape on the top. I'm going to remove the top and then soak it with a lemon syrup, fill it with lemon curd and put back the top with powdered sugar. It's going to be so yummy. Gosh, it smells so good. And in order to have this cake extra super moist, it's already moist, but let's bring the moisture level to 1000. We're going to add a little bit of lemon syrup. And with a brush, we're going to brush the center of our cake. And really be generous. So you really want to put a lemon syrup uh, all over the cake. The cake is still a little bit warm, so it's going to soak. And you can also soak the top on both sides. I don't know if you remember this beautiful lemon curd that I did previously, but if you don't, you can click the link over here and uh, you will get the whole recipes. So today I'm going to use that lemon curd and I'm going to fill the uh, lemon pancake with that beautiful Meyer lemon curd. So I'm filling up my pine pig bag with that lemon curd. And then I'm going to pipe the lemon curd in the center of my pancake. And a nice lemon curd all the way from top to bottom. And we do it the same thing on the other side. And then we can place back the top and press it down a little bit. Mm. And we do the same thing for the other one. And the good things about this technique is that you have a little surprise in the center. And now just for finishing, we want to put a little bit of powdered sugar over the top of the pancake. All right. 
Are you ready? Let's cut it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. That lemon curd in the center is uh, really bring something extra and I can see the syrup. Don't hesitate to be uh, really generous when you put your syrup in the center. That's going to bring your cake even moister than what it is right now. Um, this is a bomb recipe, one of the kind, really moist lemon pound cake. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and to hit the little bell so you can be notified each and every single recipe. Until then, au revoir and see you next time in Rules Kitchen. Bye.